What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I wanted to do a quick update on the Cordyceps Project 2.0. So recap, the first week we did a difference um, in the volume of substrate. So I'm, I'm doing a rice and milk um, substrate and then inoculating with liquid cultures. Um, the second week I did a test run on different strains so it's been about five days since I put the first round into fruiting and five days since I inoculated um, my my substrate recipe that I'm rolling with so um, you can see first that we've got some really nice color change happening so uh, one of the telltale signs of cordyceps um, is that it will change orange and that's gonna you know be an indication that it's about to fruit so you can see all of these uh, wild UK cordyceps inoculations are turning orange um, the substrate that I really like the most is 33 grams of rice to 20 grams of milk I modified that a little bit I added a lot more milk in the second um, trial and I'm really liking the results of that as well. So if you can see, we've got um, the C3, C10. Uh, this is a strain that I grew in the springtime. I, I crossbred that and along with the C3, C8. So these are two potential commercial um, mating strains. And then I've got the UK wild strain here and uh, um, a strain from terrestrial fungi. It was a mound four crossed with a GH something. Uh, pretty complicated name, but if you missed that video, go check it out. So let's go through the different growth rates on the strain. All right, so you can see I've got all the, um, the first batch of trial run from the wild UK cordyceps. These have all been in fruiting for five days. So you can see they're starting to turn orange and they've got these really cool ridges that are forming. So that's after five days on various rice and milk substrates, which it seems to be working pretty well. And then we'll come over to the different strains and how those are going. So these two strains here are from my breeding project um, in the spring. So you've got C3, C10 and C3, C8. These are both about 90% colonized. Um, as you go back, we've got a little bit less on these and then once again about 60% to 80% to 90% colonized. And then we'll come over to this UK um, and this is after five days at 70 degrees. So we've got you know 90% colonization here once again you can see those nice ridges that are forming which is pretty cool so the UK strain probably looking the healthiest right now and then we'll come over to the terrestrial fungi and you can see about 90% colonization here as well looking really healthy so I would say that everything's doing pretty good after five days um, all right guys give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video um, subscribe if you're looking for more videos like these and we'll uh, follow up with how these are fruiting and check check out fungi Fridays every Friday at um, 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. I just like to do a live stream, answer questions. Um, we just do the topic of the day or topic, topic of the week. But tune in for that and check out our Etsy, um, Fresh Fungi for cultures. We don't have our cordyceps up yet, but once this project runs, um, runs its course and we find a commercial strain, I would love to provide that on our Etsy. And um, check us out. And at the farmer's markets, we just um, 
signed up for Cherry Creek again this year, so stay tuned for some fresh mushrooms. We got our first batch that's popping, and we're gonna be um, turning it up to a full production shortly. So until next time, much love.